Hi everyone, I uh, just want to share a concept here that uh, Robert Murray Smith has shared and uh, if you don't know who he is, uh, check out uh, his uh, YouTube uh, account and uh, under Robert Murray Smith and uh, you'll see that he's quite uh, an amazing uh, individual and shares quite a bit and his uh, concept is basically a motor um, that would be utilizing a magnetization and demagnetization of a Alnico magnet. Now, uh, what I'm going to share is my own uh, version of it and uh, possibly uh, a simpler version and maybe one that maybe Robert himself uh, want, would like to consider. Uh, and this is how I went about it. Um, I had bobbins here that already had coils on it and this is my coil here that I'm using on the device here but this is the same bobbin and uh, what you're doing is you're going to be magnetizing and demagnetizing a Alnico magnet and this is an Alnico magnet and I found these on eBay uh, one inch and uh, I think they were three inches long and I cut it down to exactly the uh, width of the uh, bobbin here and that's uh, in there. You, I don't know if you can see that, but there, the El Nico is there. Sandwiched between <coughs> these two cores. They're painted black, but these are basically transformer uh, laminations here. You can clearly see the laminations there. This is the eye of an E-core uh, microwave oven transformer. And uh, they, this piece here is about one inch wide, which is the width of the uh, magnet. And here is a neodymium magnet here, so a very powerful one inch magnet. So polarized uh, this way, north to south. And uh, these yellow pieces here, I had to add those. Uh, they're very weak uh, ceramic magnets that I found uh, just so that I could have the width of the bobbin fit in between these two eyes here. And the whole idea behind this is, is a motor concept that you uh, could I don't know if it'll be more efficient, <laughs> but the idea is, is with a very small pulse, uh, a short pulse, you can actually magnetize and demagnetize that magnet. It changes its uh, poles basically. So what happens, it makes a uh, flux gate. So the uh, flux of the uh, permanent magnet here, the NEO, could actually go through the Alnico magnet and back through like this just making a continuous loop like a keeper, meaning that if you did put something on top here, uh, there would be no magnetization happening, right? So this uh, would be your stator of your motor, and uh, this here would be your rotor. So you would have all these uh, sections uh, that would be attracted to these uh, north and south sides here of the when it's magnetized. So right now it's, it's demagnetized. The flux of the NEO is continuously uh, looping in, across here of the Alnico, which is in the center of this bobbin. So I'm going to be energizing it with a short pulse. And what I'm going to be using for that is just a 12 volt battery that I have here. I have a current sensing resistor here. I have a, uh, just a three amp uh, fuse there. And um, there is my MOSFET switch, which I'm going to control through my uh, signal generator. And uh, I'm using uh, 400 millihertz, so uh, basically uh, under half a second. 500 millihertz is half of one second, so I'm actually at 400 millihertz. And uh, with a very, very short duty cycle, 1% which will give us, this is one previous scope shot that was there, and uh, I'm on the 25 millisecond uh, divisions, so each square here is equal to 25 milliseconds. So that's the, on, that's the on time that I need just to magnetize and demagnetize that uh, magnet. So, um, and then I've got a flyback diode here, which I'm sending back the flyback uh, to this capacitor. Flyback's kind of small, uh, not very significant, but you'll see it. It'll charge that probably close to uh, 60 volts. Uh, that is a 60 microfarad uh, capacitor, AC capacitor. And uh, I have a um, 
This is a 9K, 900K ohm uh, resistor uh, across there in case I forget to, uh, <laughs> to uh, drain it. And then I have a uh, 2K uh, ohm resistor here that I can drain the uh, uh, capacitor. And that meter there will uh, display the voltage that will uh, collect from the flyback. So basically right now uh, I have to just flip these uh, connections uh, here. You have to flip the polarities of the coil. So one way it'll uh, change the polarity and it'll make the NEO's flux uh, go through across here and then go across this bar, which would be on the rotor. So it would get magnetized in the right direction to attract this core. And then basically once it would hit top dead center, you would again now give it a small pulse again and then it would be free to move on. So that's what I'm gonna just do right now. So I'm just gonna flip these uh, polarities here and we're gonna give it one shot. So basically I just turn on my signal de generator and uh, you can hear it and I'll point to the flyback. You'll see the flyback when it's... So there it occurred, you know, 57 volts basically and it just drains. So right now this has been magnetized and it is stuck there really strong. So, you know, it does work. And uh, this configuration is, is really good actually. And this here is just a, a cardboard stock. Well, not very thick cardboard, but anyways, thicker than a sheet of paper. And that just represents the air gap basically that you would have in a, in a, mo in a motor. Cause it's pretty, pretty easy to lock a, uh, an I-core right there but as you see I have this cardboard uh, piece in there that's to uh, so that we don't have that and you can see that we have a good uh, traction so basically you know you're not adding any power just that small pulse here it is now that's what it took to uh, to uh, energize that and uh, I have my uh, current sensing resistor, that's what's being measured there in the scope uh, or captured there in the scope and that's a uh, 0 0.01 ohm resistor and um, there is our uh, voltage divisions there, 100 millivolts, so each one of these squares is 100 millivolts by <coughs> 25 uh, milliseconds uh, wide. Um, so that's interesting you know to uh, see that and uh, uh, now what would need to be done is build a, a motor or if there's somebody out there that can do the math on this to uh, tell me what I've got to uh, measure uh, you know as far as how much how much this uh, would pull on a scale and how much power you put in and see if the amount of power you put in for the amount of pull and for the uh, duration of travel and uh, obviously this is one inch so the core would be here it would pull one inch uh, you know of a stroke uh, with very small on time the on time uh, probably represents I've done a rough calculation at about 2.3 um, joules <coughs> per pulse to magnetize it and to release it so now what I'll do is I'll just take the uh, reverse the uh, polarities here on the coil and we're just going to give it one more shot and before I do that I'll just, just drain my uh, capacitor there again capacitors drain and I'm going to give it one shot and that's it again 57 volt and boom comes right off so you know that's and, and then well maybe some of you are thinking well you can only do it with the piece there no I can do it without the uh, eye there so as you saw it's not magnetized at this time it's not sticking right just reverse the polarities and um, <clears throat> I'll just drain my uh, capacitor flyback capacitor again and I'll go ahead and turn it on so that was one pulse there and uh, so that now should be uh, magnetized, right? So if I bring my core slowly here, <laughs> it's it. There you go. So it doesn't. There we go. I was able to take it off, 
Uh, but the magnetization stays there. It doesn't, uh, it's not one of those the perpetual magnet holders. It just stays there. It's the same. So, you know, it's not being powered on now at this time. There's our flyback. So it's just that one single tiny uh, pulse that uh, happens and uh, does that. So again, if I take this off and I reverse my polarities, and we'll do it without the eye there, it'll be demagnetized. So we'll zero our capacitor here. And I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so that happened again. So basically now it, the uh, I core here should not hold. And there you go. It doesn't hold. So you can do this as many times as you want. It doesn't matter. It uh, all comes to the same. Drain that. And hit the uh, signal generator. That's it. Came on. And now this will stick. Oops. <laughs> Guess I must have had it on a little crooked or something. So there you go. So, uh, interesting uh, idea. And uh, I think it merits uh, a little uh, investigation. So thanks for your interest. Bye now.